Hello guys, welcome to the new video of HSC ICT practicals. This is the fifth experiment. This is about creating the table in HTML. We can see this is a table created by HTML tags okay the table is created by the table tag see this is the starting tag table and this is the ending tag and in between the table tag there are several sections of tr tag this tr tag defines the table row in this table we have used one two three and four rows that means this is the first row second row third and the fourth okay in the first row you can see the serial number item and quantity these things are written in bold font and also aligned center for this we can use th tag that means table header by this tag html will automatically make the table data in bold and centered aligned okay let's move on to the next row okay here we can see the td tag that means table data in the first td tag we have written one that means this one second td apple then the second table data apple and this apple is not centered aligned okay for the next data uh, we have used one kg and after the starting td tag we have used align equal center this will make the one kg in the centered aligned format okay the next table row is as same as the second one okay then the total here you can see the total this is written by merging these two columns in just one cell okay these two columns are merged with the column span attribute okay here we have defined call span equal to that means two column will be merged and with the align tag we have aligned the total word in center okay i think you have understood the the table tag the tr tag the th and the td tags also the column span the rows are also can be merged by row span attribute okay now let's understand the style tag okay this is written because by default the HTML won't make the horizontal and vertical line by the table tag. Let's see what if we do not write the style tag. If we remove it, save it and reload 
the browser see there is no vertical or horizontal line you can add the vertical and horizontal line by simply writing border after the table tag okay, let's save it and reload it see the table is appeared with a cell format there is some padding now if you write to and again save it and reload see the table border will be increased if you want to make the table with the normal table format that we usually see then we have to use the style tag of CSS okay by the style tag we are defining the table the table header and the table data will be in one pixel border width solid black and the border will collapse that means this cell borders will be collapsed and make one line like this hope you have understood the practical thing now let's move on to the writing part okay you have to write the theory the equipments needed this is as same as the previous words this is the procedure this is the storing procedure of HTML document and these are the definition of tags we have used in this experiment okay and these are the screenshot you will attach those screenshots by printing in your practical notebook that's all for this video thank you